How you boys and girls doing? I actually forgot to have my mic on for this game, so I'm going to be doing a, a voiceover. I just wanted to point out how frustrated I am because you can see there's uh, the game we played the other day. There's Trash Boat, right? That's the game we won 8-6. That's the one we came back. And then later today, I played back-to-back uh, -back games against this guy named Almighty Drew. You can see uh, I was using the Diamondbacks both times. Uh, and you can see I, I was winning 8-1, but I still got the loss. It's because the game crashed. Now, I don't really care too much about my win-loss record. I'm very confident in my abilities. It's just this game right now, there's just stability and consistency and reliability issues. Whether it's servers, just the game engine itself. I mean, the show has always been kind of like that. It's always been kind of buggy. Um, but we just kind of had to accept it because it's the only console baseball game. But... They got they got to sort this stuff out at San Diego, man. It's getting ridiculous. And look at that lovely pace running by me. Lead off double. I get thrown out at second. Whatever, bro. It's not gonna matter. Goldschmidt with that nice single up the middle. Another good rip. Let me just tell you this. You saw the title of the episode already. I was hitting the ball good. Not that time with Tomas, but. He'd be able to uh, do some damage later. Now, pitching, it was just fine. That works, you know. When stuff like that works, you know you're fine. And, you know, I don't want to harp on my opponent too much. You know, clearly, you know, he he's still either learning the game or, you know, he's, he's just maybe trying out some new control schemes. I don't know, but, you know, he obviously just wasn't playing that well. He was, you know, a class... Underneath me. Now this this sucks. This is the kind of luck I get in this game. Just a simple slide and Ionet is injured. How many times am I? <laughs> oh, I I don't get it, but it is what it is. And you can see he can't even you know get the ball across the plate. Honestly, um, that's a decent hit, but stays in the park. And Paul, look, he's gonna get his chance to shine here. Um. I had a no-hitter in this game. I had a perfect game, actually, for quite the majority. Um, I mean, this guy just... he, he I got to give him credit. He did foul off a lot. He, he was making some contact with a decent amount of pitches, but I think... Um, I don't know. Maybe he's just an impatient hitter, you know. A lot of hitters in this game, they just fall into old bad habits. And basically... If you can't hit, you cannot win. Um, see? See how I hit? Get that home run with that, that two-run homer with Domas? That's how you win. Anyway. I mean, this high fastball right here just gets him. And then I found that this combo just worked so perfectly that it was almost that. The fastball, fastball, curveball. Um, if I had stuck to this pretty much the entire game, I would have had a perfect game. But... I don't think that would have really counted. Because, I mean, if if your opponent's just going to fall for the same thing over and over again, then, you know, it doesn't it doesn't count. Obviously, your opponent just doesn't know what he's doing. Um, I mean, fastball, fastball, curveball, again, just gets them. Nice and easy. And, you know, everything's down the middle, whatever he's throwing. See that down the middle... Or it's a wild pitch. I mean, I was hoping he would quit way sooner. Um, but we must soldier on. Good call back there on the base pass. I like that. That's good coaching. And once, I mean, it's, I've never seen so many wild pitches from someone who I think was trying to actually pitch. You know, you'll get trolls that this is all they do. Yeah, that or, you know, they try to bean you every time. But I think he was legitimately trying to pitch. He just, uh, well, after the after about 20 wild pitches, you're forced to pretty much throw a meatball down the middle. And it gone. Look at Pedroia here. Look at Dustin there. Look at this. Fastball? What am I going to do? I mean, you think I'm going to go back to that fastball? I think so. And look at this curveball. It's straight in the dirt. I can't throw this anymore in the dirt. 
than that, and that one was horrible. Um, that, that's like a legit five feet off the plate, and he's still swinging at it. Fastball. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Fastball again? No way. Tell me you're not going to fall for this again. All right, all right. Well, no, we're going to just go back to the curveball, because I know he wants it. <laughs> I know he wants to swing at it. Too easy. That's a well-hit ball. Look at that. Rolls nice and easy all the way back up to the wall. I can't remember. No, not a triple. And once again, Tomas is just raking. I think uh, despite their ranking, the D-backs, you know what? This is not a bad team. This is not a bad team at all. I think this stays in the, yeah, it's warning track power. But this team, you know, they're good. I mean, I think the game ranks them, like, you know, somewhere in the bottom three. That's not a replay, by the way. Um, I think they're like 20-something, whatever. Uh, but they're not bad. And in real life, I haven't checked the standings the last couple of days, but... I mean, they were above 500. They were beating the Dodgers, you know, in that opening series. This team isn't bad. Be on the lookout for the for the D-backs and especially Pollock. Uh, he's gonna be a he's gonna be a good player. This is where I lose the perfect game right here. Look at this. Look at that. Come on. Anyway, I just stuck to my guns. Somehow he. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, whatever. You know. Anyway, I should have just stuck to this. Boom. The fastball's up high. Look at this again. Once again, fastball up high, and they're they're terrible fastballs. Some of these, and then whoop. Whatever I need a whatever I need an out. Fastball, fastball, curveball. Three runs from that elusive mercy. We haven't had one on video yet. Good hit. Is, is it bad luck? I mean. On his side, I mean, it's seven nothing, and that's his 100th wild pitch. I I want to complain about an error here or there, you know. Um, all right, that's gonna make it eight nothing. We only need two more for that mercy rule. If you're not familiar with MLB the Show, online, if you're up by at least 10 runs at any point, you get to win via the mercy rule. Now. It's very similar to uh, how it's worked. It's worked in little league. the The team that's behind has to have a chance to at least bat first. Um, so, yeah. There's that. Any anyway, look at this fastball, fastball. I mean, some of those are hittable, man. Like they're getting a decent part of the plate too. And then you just throw the curveball. Like I said, if I had just done this the whole game, I probably could have got at least a no hitter. But it's a it's a very cheap no hitter. I mean, he clearly doesn't really know what he's doing and in some ways I feel bad but in other ways it's like why are you wasting my time like if you were showing some improvement some sh signs of recognition that you were actually trying I'd respect you but at this point you're just wasting my time you're just mashing the X button just quit like why do I have to just mindlessly you know keep throwing fastball fastball curveball like just just quit already man like you're not trying Stop wasting my time and your time. I might be sounding like a complete douche here, but seriously, like, you know, you've been in those games where you're just like, really, we have seven more innings to go, and I'm up 8 nothing. Just come on, bro. Let's just fire up another game, bro. Look at this fastball. I mean, what do you think this is going to be? Like, seriously, honestly. <laughs> and like I said, so, those are hittable. Like, I think if you can't hit those, you have no chance. Honestly, you have no chance. Um, and so this time I decided to do something a little different. I'm just going to throw them all curveballs. I know that's real. That's the pitch that really kills them, right? It's not really the fastball. It's this curveball. So back-to-back -back curveballs, of course, you know, of course. Like, he has no concept of just taking a pitch. Like, <laughs> he has just no concept of taking a pitch, right? Like, at this point, if you're honestly, is he actually trying? Like, if he's actually trying... Just stop playing the game. No, that's that. That's a bit harsh. That's over the line. But you gotta, you gotta do something. I mean, you gotta change things up a little bit. Look at this. It's just all curveballs. 
you can't. I don't know how he got a piece of that. Remember, those those balls are going in the dirt. So how he gets that to that, I don't know. Um, but it's the bottom of the eighth. We just need one run, and Jake Lamb provides us that one run, and provides us with this sweet screen right here. Game called due to mercy rule. Love seeing that. Now I would have preferred seeing this maybe in the fourth inning instead of the eighth inning, but. Mercy rules and mercy rules, Aunt Greggy. Player of the game, uh, one hit allowed over eight innings. 14 Ks, ladies and gentlemen, 14 Ks. Well, I think we are back on the right track on our winning ways. Hopefully, I won't be able to upload any more losses in the future. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not afraid to post losses, as you guys know. Anyways, thank you guys once again for tuning in. Let me know in the comments who you guys want to see me play. All right. Until then, have a good one.